Hey, what's up everyone? I'm back again. It's Friday, August 14th of 2020. It is 3.48 p.m. here on the East Coast in the afternoon. It is hot as balls out right now. Um, coming back at you with another video, but this time um, we are going to modify a PlayStation Vita Fat 1000 model. But this time around, we're going to use a tool which is called YAM. Y-A-M, Vita. Um, the previous video I did, I used Storage Manager, which I did enjoy. Um, I actually used Storage Manager um, on the other PlayStation Vita 1000 that I sold to the guy from my Etsy store. Um, I used the Auto Plugin 2, and I used um, Storage Manager within Auto Plugin 2 to set up uh, his memory card and stuff like that. But this time around, I'm going to try a different program, and hopefully we'll see how it goes. Um, it's a new version. It's actually a GUI, which is Graphical User Interface. So it's going to be a lot easier than setting setting up the YAM Lite version or the previous version of the YAM. So we'll get started on that. This will be linked in the description below. Uh, this, where to find the adapter for the SD to Vita. I got this from Amazon. It was like five, six bucks. Um, very cheap. And I got another 512 gigabyte SD card. I've been using these sand disks. Discs, not sand dick. But um, these have been working fine and stuff like that. I will say um, for anybody who's using the SD to Vita, I think it's storage manager that's that's kind of muffing things up, but sometimes when you boot up your system and you try to launch like an application like Vita Shell or Auto Plugin, it'll pop up with an error message like C dash, a bunch of numbers. Um, don't freak out; everything's fine. But f just uh, shut off your PlayStation Vita, take out the SD card, and then reset the SD card back into the um, game port of your PlayStation Vita 2000 or 1000. Um, I find that if you kind of jostle the the uh, handheld around or just throw it on the on the couch or place it on the table a little rough, I think it's the, the I think it's the card actually. I think it's the uh, SD to Vita adapter that's messing everything up. I think it's very sensitive or it could be the storage manager plug-in that's messing something up that's giving you that error so don't freak out if it does if you do get that error um i've got it a few times already um i'm not worried about it all i do is this shut down the vita take out the card take this card out of the game slot stick it back in reboot and applications work like a charm so that's just a little tidbit little little tip to give you but uh, yeah let's get this thing rolling I will say my store is doing very well actually I got two people who already ordered something and they thought they were gonna get a Vita for 85 bucks which uh, that's not gonna happen like I said earlier, I think, I'm really unsure if I really want to go down that route of just buying Vitas from, like, eBay, then selling them on my store already modded and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens down the road, down the uh, line, but for the time being, it's a send-in service type deal. But if you're smart and you could watch these videos and figure stuff out, you could always mod your Vita by yourself. And the weird thing is, I just learned how to do this like two months ago, back in June. I always, I, ever since I was little, like a teenager, I used to take my PC, desktop PC apart, and figure out how to put it back together and stuff like that. Um, I like electronics, I have always have. I think that's why this, this comes so much easier to me. Oh, here's the card. So... Um, that little rant is done. I'll shut up now and we'll get this, this thing going. The nice thing about this Yam Vita VPK file 
you don't even need the PC anymore. This is wonderful for those who don't have a PC or can't afford a laptop or a desktop computer. Stick this bad boy right in there. Stick this in the game port. As long as that yam vita.vpk file has been installed, um, you'll find the settings within the um, settings bubble on the live dashboard area. And you go from there, and it's pretty much self-explanatory. I saw the pictures that the creator um, posted up on his Twitter. Um, like I said, links will be down in the description below. And then um, let's get started, guys. This is a great website because it has homebrews, has plugins, all the files that you need. But the one file we need now is the YAMT version 4.0. I'm just going to highlight the description. Um, the link will be down in the description below if you'd like to get this file. It's a very small file. It only takes like five seconds. Um, the file will be downloaded to your downloads folder or wherever you have your settings for downloads. This is more information on it. It's just info that um, the kid updated on uh, what he did different with the beta version to this um, official release. All right, guys, first thing we need to do is we need to go to the Vita Shell. Scroll down, go to the Vita Shell. Vita, Vita Shell, yes, Vita Shell. Vita Shell. Now, this is the Vita 1000 that I bought from the gentleman that was that lives in my same town. Um, he kept this absolutely mint, came with this silicone condom type thing you put over the Vita 1000 along with um, a plastic grip. So there's like handles that come out, which is pretty good for uh, first person shooters. But at any rate, um, from here you want to hit start. Now you want to select the button where it's a select button. You want to hit USB or FTP. I still like FTP method, so we'll do that. Hit select. This message will pop up. And uh, let's go from there. We'll go to the PC side of things. So back over on the desktop, I'm going to open up the file manager. Well, the FTP manager, I should say. My bad. I use FileZilla. It's free. So we're going to type in the FTP numbers from the Vita. And we're going to connect to the Vita server, I guess you could say. So we could access the root files. And what I'm going to do is, like I usually do, take the file that I downloaded and drag it to the desktop to make things a lot easier for me. So let's close this out. Load up FileZilla once again. I'm going to refresh so the file will be shown. As you can see right there, at the very bottom of my movie files I've been downloading left and right. Next, we're going to go to the right side. I'm going to open up the UX0 folder and expand that. Now you're going to scroll down to see the VPK folder. You're going to drag and drop that YAM file to the v VPK, and we're good to go. All right. Since we transferred the file over, we'll get out of this message. You want to scroll down. Well, not scroll down, but push the deep button down to UX0. Come all the way down to the very bottom where it says VPK folder. You see that? Well, we should try to. The screen's so glary. You want to install this? After you install the YAM Vita plugin, the VPK file, what you want to do, you don't need the file anymore. So what I usually do is Instead of keeping the file on my memory card, even though they don't take up any space, I just delete them. There's no use for having the silly file on the uh, Vita itself since you already installed it. So you're more than welcome to delete it or leave it on there. It's totally up to you. I prefer um, deleting all the VPK files. So after that, a new bubble will show. Um, the one thing I like about Storage Manager is that there's no bubble at all. Not even if you went through Auto Plugin. I'll show you. See, once you set this up, there's no 
uh, bubble for the live area at all, which is nice. But you'll get yourself a bubble like this called the Yam T Installer. Unfortunately, I don't know um, the difference between the full version and the light version. Um, I'm going to pick the light version right now. I feel like the light version is for, like, I don't know, just everyday folks um, that just want to set up their SD card. They don't need any other, like, configuration uh, settings and modes and stuff like that. That's what I think uh, the full version um I think that's what the full version is, is something like that. But for today's purposes, I'm going to set up, install the light version. Okay. All right. Once uh, your PlayStation Vita reboots and you're back to the home screen, the live area, the desktop, whatever you want to call it, you want to go to settings, load up the settings, wait till it loads. Now you want to come down to devices, the headset and the speaker. The storage devices tab will be installed and will be right here. You want to check this off to enable. UX0. You would think you want to do SD to Vita, but you can't just yet. Because if you did... Um, the SD to Vita would not work because you don't have the actual UX0 files on the SD to Vita card that's in here right now. So unfortunately, you can't check this off. So what you need to do is hit the memory card. The UMA0 is actually going to be the SD to Vita right here for the time being. Let's hit this, let's format this puppy. Once that is done and complete, we don't have to back out, just uh, hold the power button. Power off. There you go, there's the UMAO right there. Hopefully you can see it. If it's blurry, I do apologize, I'm trying to like I said, the GoPro is okay for some things and some things it isn't. But under the UMA0, it reads 476.68 gigabytes. Now, this is a 512 gigabyte SD card. And what's in the UMAO is absolutely nothing, which is good. What you want to do is you want to transfer all of the files that are in the UX0 folder to the UMA0 folder. So how do you do how do you do that? Well, this is how. You hit the triangle button, the very top button. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. You want to hit mark all. Hit the triangle once again. Hit copy. 21 files copied. Uh, it's not a touch screen, I forgot. Back out of the UX0. Go to the UMA0 this time. You want to hit the triangle. And hit, co and hit paste. Give this a few seconds. I would like to say we could delete this, the SCELO trash and the system volume information. But I might have to check up on that online first, just in case something happens. Or maybe we do need it. I don't know. But at least I have it recorded so I know, so I remember what file, what two folders I should delete. But at any rate, back out of here. Go back to the settings. I apologize for stammering and stuttering. I think my brain works too fast my mouth can't spit out the uh, information 
Now, now we can change this memory card to SD to Vita. Now I'm just going to keep my OEM Sony card and change that to that. You don't have to back out. Just uh, hold the power button. There you go. UX0, it is reading 476.68 gigabytes. So we did it. And UMA0 is 3.73. And I'm using a 4 gigabyte Sony, official Sony memory card. So not bad. And there you go. Let's back out of here. I'm going to go to settings. And from settings, I'm just going to show you guys um, the system information. 476 gigabytes. And like I said, it's a 512 gigabyte SD card, sand disk. So there you go. Alrighty, guys, you got any, any questions or any concerns, I'll try to answer them um, the best I can. Otherwise, I might, I'll probably hit up Reddit like I have for some information and, and I'll get back to you. Um, but please, just let me know if this works for you and stuff like that. Um, hopefully, this was helpful. I haven't seen one video of the new YamT Vita 4.0 installation video on YouTube yet so I'm gonna be happy I'll be the first one to actually have done this and post it and hopefully you guys maybe this will change your mind from using the storage manager plugin uh, which you could access through the auto plugin too or you could do it manually um, but if you're someone who wants fast boot loading times definitely um, stick with the yam T or yam light um, but like I said earlier, I'm not into bootloading times. I don't care as long as this handheld works fine and I can play my games. That's all I care about. Um, like I said, just, uh, links will be in the description below. Got any questions, concerns, hit me up. I'll try to answer them. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much and uh, talk to you guys later.